Promotional consideration paid for by the following. The following review is brought to you by RealHotStuff.com. RealHotStuff.com is your number one source for legitimate flashcards and accessories. You can find all of your favorite flashcards here, such as the Supercard DS2, Easy Flash 4, Gateway, R4i Gold, MT Card, and much more at great prices. Visit RealHotStuff.com and get your next flashcard today. Okay, I'm going to show you right now how to put the games on the SD card. Um, excuse my voice, I'm doing this one early in the morning. I'm doing this in bits and pieces for you all. Um, magic of video. Anyway, I, you see here I got the computer screen open. I'm on Windows 7. Here, and it's a little dark. Here I have a 32 gig micro SD card. I'm going to plant it into the computer and bear with me because this Dell is old and sometimes you have to really shove the card in there luckily for us it's working on the first try now I use this normally for my digital camera but we're gonna use it for multi-ROM so what we're gonna do is we're gonna format it we should be able to there we go I'm doing it through the viewfinder okay we're gonna go and do a quick format because with SDs you really don't need to do a full format because in actually a full format could screw up your card so we're gonna let that format and as you see we have 29 gigs free okay so it's literally it's in a fat third now the MT card is a fat 32 drag and drop so what we're gonna do is you're gonna and this is a cool feature of Windows 7. You can do this. You can snap tabs together. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to do it initially. And then you could just you know throw games on from there. Now, if you have a save file, it's going to go over here. I wouldn't really use gateways because the way they read the two are completely different. So we're going to just drag and drop, for example, Ocarina of Time over here. And as you can see, it's copying. Now, another big problem while we're de dealing with this, while this is going, save some time. Um, a big problem you're going to come into is you're going to have ROMs like Metal Gear Solid 3 and Donkey Kong Returns and Metal Gear Solid... Not Metal Gear well, Metal Gear is one of them. I just said it, though. Um, Resident Evil Revelations. And they're 4 gigs. And the limit for FAT32 fat is is 4 gigs. So what we're going to do is we have the 3DS ROM tool. Let me just, I think, let me just double check something real quick. Make sure I'm not deleting something. I already. Well, what we're going to do is anyway is this. So... What I'm going to do is we're going to look for that real quick. For example, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Okay. Now, I'm going to copy it. And we're going to put it to the 3DS ROM tool folder. I do that because it's a lot easier. Because, number one, it's not going to be able to go on the card unless it's under four gigs and you also don't want to trim what you already have just in case there's something wrong with it so what i do is is i take the four gig rom and i put it in this folder so this way it's separated so this way you could just put the cut one there so obviously this is this is already copied this is copying to the the folder you know, obviously we're going to stick a couple more and it's as simple as this if it's under two gigs now if it's four gigs you have to cut now what I mean by under two gigs is apparently as obviously there's different there's a few standard sizes that they add garbage data to to, to make it and it doubles in size so it starts out at 128 megabyte you know which is megabit actually you know for here it actually starts out at 128 megabyte then 512, I'm sorry, 128, then 256, then 512, then 1 gig, 
then it goes to two gig and then four gig if it's two gig and under you can just drag and drop however if it's over four gig you need to cut it and as soon as this is done the shave some time off and use the magic of video once again I'm going to stop it right here, and then when it comes time to copy it and to trim it, I'll show you how to do that. All right, we are back here at the ROM tool. Obviously, you've seen the Donkey Kong Country Returns copied just fine, and you see it's exactly 4 gigs, and I mentioned, you know, the garbage data. Now, it's in kilobytes, but it is 4 gigabytes, as you can see on the bottom there. So what I do is, a lot of people screw with, um, command line and I know how to do that but it's if you're putting a lot of ROMs or you don't want to sit there type all day so there's actually a GUI for the ROM tool and I'll put that in the video just in case anybody wants it um, don't know if this is the latest version but it's worked with every ROM that I've tried with it because um, I had a card set for gateway but who knows if 2.0 will ever be released and like I said I want the brick code removed before I even um, get into res um, recommending it so we're going to open the ROM tool. And obviously there's our game, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Double click. And obviously you can see it's... Now, most of the games are obviously going to be a card one. If it's card two, forget it. Um, MT doesn't play card two. Card two is NAND saving. And there's a couple games that use that. But, and you can... You, here's the best part. You can always untrim. If you have an issue with it, you could just pop it back on, untrim it, but... Obviously, like I said, if it's over 4 gigs, you won't be able to put it on the FAT32. So we're going to trim it. Trimming was completed successfully. We'll back out. Now, don't back out if you're going to put multiple ROMs on there. You know, you could just open them up one at a time. I'd rather do this to save space, and you can trim all your ROMs. I recommend doing that. So, but like I said, if it's 4 gigs, you definitely have to. So it went from, this is an example of garbage data. It went from 4 gigs to 2.18 so it's a little over two gigs but all that garbage data they put it to fit on a four gig um card so you know 32 megabyte card so now that it's under four gigs we can just drag and drop and that's it just rinse repeat um i read like i said i recommend doing it with, with all of the roms but um, I just did this to show you how to put games on there. And now as soon as this is done and I put a few more ROMs on here, it's going to be time to go to the MT card and we'll show you how to work the games and change them. <laughs> All right, we are ready to go setting things up here. As you can see, I have the blue card. I know it's a little low lighting because I want to see the screen. Put the SD card in. This is the um, setup card. And I'm going to show you how to do it all at once, you know, to reset everything. Um, one thing I liked about I like about this for sure, and the other card, is there's no spring, which means you just slide it in, it clicks, it doesn't move, because as anyone could tell you that has a flash card with a spring, springs break, and that's not something you'd want. So I'm going to put the blue card into the 3DS, and I haven't used this since the gateway. I'm going to turn this bad boy on. Now remember, you this is the same with gateway, you can only use the MT card on a 3DS that's 4.1 to 4.5. Any higher, it will not work. It's doing the software because I, I formatted the card completely. So... What we're going to do is go to Deep Labyrinth. Obviously, that's the R4i card. Now, I said, now, again, a lot of people say, well, eh, boo. Anyway, um, a lot of people say, well, you should just, you know, you can, you don't have to reinstall the exploit. But I feel like I said, you want to do everything fresh, feel comfortable doing it like that. And how we're going to do it is we're just going to boot up this real quick. And what this does is it resets the DS profile by actually putting it back in. Because that's how this works. That's how the gateway works. That's how the MT card works. That's how all the clones work. Um, any 3DS flash card actually works like that. It install. It overflows the um, profile, the DS, pro your name in the profile. 
And that's how the exploit's um, given in. So we're going to go home. Yes. And I'm getting the crap with the battery, so I better hurry this up, at least on this video. At least on this particular clip, I should say. Now we're going to go back to Deep Labyrinth. Since we know our DS is back to normal. Because if it wasn't, that wouldn't play. Now we're going to go to the MT installer. We're going to start that up. A to continue. Obviously it's a US 3DS, so we're going to put USA. And sometimes this will happen. I've noticed on all of the things, it, it happens sometimes. There's no shame in actually going back and retrying again. So we're going to do that. Because I've done this, I've had no problems with my 3DS in doing it. I do this every time there's a new exploit out. When I, had, when I was using the gateway, I did that every single time. That you know, a new like a 1.1 or 1.2 came out, and I didn't have any problems with it. As you can see, it's done. Enjoy MT card. And so now, a lot of people, you know, you know, some, uh, not a lot of people. Some people I noticed will actually just go home, but I'm not doing that. It's they tell you to reset, you reset. So we're gonna power it off. It's off. I'm going to change these batteries, and as soon as I come back on, I'll show you the MT card. Okay, now that I changed the batteries and put the MT card in, we are back. And obviously I got the 3D off. Now I got it off. There we go. Alright, now we're going to go to the wrench. That's the profile. Okay. Other settings. Profile. We'll now, for the first time we're using this, it's better to press L. I want to try to. L. Then you're at the MT card menu. And yes, the shark is in 3D. I just looked now. So, right here, now you don't need the um, stylus for it, this one. So basically you go to empty card menu, go to classic menu. Now the empty card menu is the menu with the exploit. That's where you get to play your multi-ROMs on your cartridge. Classic menu is where you get to play your retail games. Like, for example, if you have a copy of Pokemon X or Animal Crossing, you can play it on here. Or any card you have. I don't know if it works with the sevens, we have no idea yet. This is the select game. Backup NAND, Format EMU NAND. Now obviously you want to use the backup NAND. You want to back up your NAND. So what we're going to do is... We're going to back up the NAND to the SD. Absolutely. And that's exactly what we're doing. Now, much like the gateway, this is going to take time. Because this has to read... Um, one gig of information and write that to the SD card. So we're just going to pause it right for now and then when it comes back we're going to show you how to format your EMU NAND.